the Fox 10 Gulf Stream. This is Next Weather. Well, welcome into Next Weather. I'm meteorologist Nicholas Boso. The weather is very, very quiet right now, but understand that things will look different in just a few months. But of course, what causes these drastic changes through the seasons? Well, meteorologist Jennifer Lambert has the answers. The other day, my daughter asked me a good question, and it was, why do we have seasons? What changes to where the weather changes? And so that's exactly what I'm going to be answering heading into today. So why do we have seasons? Well, we range between different ones. We start to see the spring, the summer, the fall, and the winter. Now, one big reason that you need to keep in mind is that the Earth, it's tilted right now at 23.4 degrees, and so this plays a vital role in changing how our temperatures feel outside. Now, first off, we have the summer solstice. Now, the first day of summer is typically around June 20th. It changes by a few days, some years. And the reason for this is the sun is pointed directly above the Tropic of Cancer, which is in the northern hemisphere where we're located. So that's why during the summertime we have longer days in the sum southern hemisphere. They're in their winter season, and that's why they have shorter days. So or flip flop dependent upon where you are located on the equator. Now, when we have longer days, we're looking at the Arctic Circle, the very northern point there, having 24 hours of daylight, while the Antarctic Circle not looking like the same. Now, then on the opposite end, we have the winter solstice. Typically, the first day of winter falls around December 21st, and that's when the center of the sun is directly above the Tropic of Capricorn, which is in the southern hemisphere. Now, again, remember, the Earth is tilted. That's where we're going to be noticing the most vital points of our seasons changing. But if you tune into Fox 10 and you sometimes hear us talk about meteorological seasons and we run a little bit different as meteorologists and part of that has to do with running it in months. Now spring, summer, fall and winter, they're all different. And so a spring meteorological season begins March 1st and it runs all the way through the end of May. Summer starts in June 1st and runs through the end of August. Fall begins September 1st and runs through the end of November. November, and then winter begins on December 1st and runs through the end of February. I like these. They make a little bit more sense in my head than trying to remember around the 21st, the 23rd of each month. And so that's why we run in meteorological seasons. So hopefully that helps you understand just a little bit of why things change and when they do all over the U.S. dependent upon where you are. So when we're seeing winter right now, just a reminder, the Southern Hemisphere, they're seeing summer at this time. In case you want to get away and get somewhere a little bit warmer, just had to head closer towards the equator. Reporting in studio, meteorologist Jennifer Lambers, Fox 10 News. Well, taking a look at that seven day forecast Thursday, the first day of the last month of meteorological winter. So here's the look as we start our February, a busy, active time on the Gulf Coast as we approach Mardi Gras. Multiple parades happening almost every day. Then the Senior Bowl on Saturday. No weather interruptions until we get to Sunday. Saturday night into Sunday, low pressure system develops, moves through our area, gives us a high rain chance and some breezy conditions as well. We'll keep that around for Monday with showery conditions. We're going with a 40% chance of rain there. Then we clear out for Monday and Tuesday. We thank you for joining us here on Next Weather.